Hello everyone, it's Amy and welcome back for week 169 of Build Your Stash and Craft. Today what we're going to do is make some dangles that you can use on any of your projects or you can use them for necklaces. Um, back a long time ago, when Papa could see better, he loved to order things off of eBay. We would look at things that were ending soonest, less than 79 cents, and free shipping. And he would buy mostly necklaces and he would use them to send out as as gifts and um these are a couple of them that he got and i know they're kind of hard to see but this one kind of has like a like a dandelion in there and this one has a tree and i just was very fascinated with them i really just loved the way that they looked and i just thought that they were just really awesome and i thought i want to see if i could make those myself so a long time ago i did a couple of them and I have this one here and this one here, which they're just trees, that, which is the one that I really liked. And, um, and I just thought that they were fun. And so we're going to make these today. You can put anything in there that you'd like to. You could even put a picture in there if you want to. But um, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to try and find two stones that are about the same size. They're not going to be exact. And these stones, if you look at these, these are these are thinner cabochons. They're, they're store-bought, very flat on the back, and they don't have any imperfections in them. And But they're expensive, and you don't really need to have that. I think that these look really nice just the way that they look. And so we're going to do it with our little rocks, and we're just going to try and find two that don't have too many blemishes in them, and that would fit together nicely that aren't like these are two kind of oval shaped ones and I really wouldn't want to put an oval shaped one with a round one because the round one just sticks out on both sides more than likely yep the um oval shaped one sticks out at the top and the bottom so you do want to have two that are approximately the same size and if you can find some that are a little flatter um, that one has a huge crack in it so I wouldn't want to use that one but maybe two that are a little bit flatter, then they wouldn't be as wide. But these are definitely going to be wider than these. But that's okay because that just makes them a really nice chunky charm. Um, you know, if you're going to hang it off of something, that's kind of fun to do. So I'm going to I'll set those two up there. We'll do this one first. And what I used to do these was fingernail polish. And what I used to paint them, because your fingernail polish... Um, brush is way too large to use to paint with and so what I used was a toothpick you can also use the point of one of your skewers um, if you have a teeny tiny paint brush you could use that but being that it's fingernail polish remember you may kind of make a mess with it so um, but all I did was because we have such a small amount to paint I just took some of my fingernail polish on my um, little toothpick and then I just kind of drew a tree. Now make sure you come all the way to the bottom and of course we're going to come up here we're going to be a little fatter at the bottom don't worry about if it's like super super straight or straight lines because it's a tree trees aren't that straight so you don't you don't want this perfectly blocky um, tree trunk. You want it to be a little bit bumpy here and there. I'm going to widen out my tree trunk just a little bit and kind of flare it out a little bit at the bottom. And I'm going to just set this on my paper like this. Oh. I got a pile of it on my paper by <laughs> doing that. I'm just gonna get my nail polish from there. Now it does dry quickly. And then just kind of start from the trunk and just start taking some branches out there. And again, they don't have to be, you don't want them to be straight. And you can do this one of two ways. This one is going to show the tree trunk on the back. 
and it will show your leaves on the back but only from the front side I'll show you what I mean in just a second so if you want to have your leaves on both sides which I, I forgot to do you would put your leaves on here before you put your tree trunk so you're just going to continue getting the branches on there however you want them and I'm running out of nail polish here And like I said, you could do anything on here that, that you wanted to do, just remembering that you're going to see it from both sides. Oh, I definitely got enough on there right there. Got a little bit too much, but that's all right. I'm going to leave it just like that. And you have to be careful about when you're going over where you've already put some nail polish. If it's not dry, you're just going to move the nail polish that you already put on there. So here is our tree trunk. Now I know that this is going to be a hard one to see, but you'll get the you'll get the gist of it. Now what I was talking about, if I had painted some leaves on there and then put the tree trunk, the tree trunk would kind of be behind them. But as you look through this, on this side now you're going to just see the tree trunk. You'll see more color on it from the other one, but you're not going to but you are going to see just the tree trunk on the back side. Whereas here, I went ahead and I put the color for the leaves. I put the color for the leaves all over each side. And then I put the tree trunk on one side um, and put them together. That way there's leaves here and leaves here. So now we'll just choose a color to use. Um, let's do this kind of orangey one. And because I don't want super tiny dots, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of break the tip off of my of my toothpick so that I have a, a wider area right here. That worked pretty good by getting it off the paper, so I'm going to just try and put a nice big drip of this on the paper. Here we go. I did these so long ago, I kind of forgot how I did them. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to, we know that we've got our tree trunk, our branches are up here, so that's where we want to put our leaves is up here. And you don't want your dots to completely cover this area because you want them to kind of look like leaves. You don't want to completely cover up where your tree is, where your tree trunk and your tree branches are. You want to be able to see those a little bit. And if you kind of just do it as little dots, then it kind of looks like leaves. And it's okay if they touch each other. You don't want them to be just all circles. But just remembering to leave a little bit of space between some of them. Okay, so this will be what our leaves look like. So then when we put them on there, we'll see the tree trunk a little bit through the leaves. Now, if you wanted, you could do more than one color on there. And if you had a little bit of green fingernail polish, which I don't think I have, I do not. I did put a little bit of green on here. So I must have used a little bit of green paint. Hmm. Kind of looks like sparkly fingernail polish. But I don't have any green. Let's see. I wonder what would happen if I took a little bit of this blue. This is just kind of a turquoisey blue. Now 
never done this before. I don't know if you can mix nail polish or not, like you can mix paint, but we're gonna find out. Just take a little bit of this kind of goldy yellow, put a little bit of that with it. Mix them together. It works. I might have wanted to have a piece of acetate out here instead of putting this on paper. But the last time that I did this, this is a little more yellow than it is green, but it is actually mixing together. If I had a little, oh, might as well just put a little bit more turquoise in there. I'm afraid it's going to dry up before I use it. And I'm just doing this so that I can put a little bit of grass at the bottom. So luckily I'm not going to need a whole lot of it. And what I'm going to do is, because my tree is still wet, and because the grass is going to be at the bottom, I'm going to put the grass on this side. But again, you could do the grass and um and do the leaves on both sides and then go ahead and what i did was i just put a little bit of the color there and then i'm just going to take the point and just kind of pull up on it just so that it looks like little bits of grass there or little bushes or whatever there we go so now we have a little green here. We've got our, our things there. And we're going to let those dry for a bit. And then we're going to just put a drop of super glue on there and glue them together. Now you can do any type of thing that you'd like to do. Like I said, this one actually looks like it really has like a little flower in there. But you could just do a flower. And just remember that, you know, you're going to see it from both sides. So if I were to draw a flower on here... I have to remember I'm going to see it through this side also. Now, if you only want to see it from one side, they have they have these little glass gems that are like milky white or colored. You could put those on the back side, the, the ones that are kind of solid, so that you wouldn't see. Um, you'd see through this, but you wouldn't see through the other side in case you don't want to try and have to make something that would look good from both sides. But we could just take... Um, let's do a little of this purple. Well, maybe I put lotion on my hands because they're so dry. <laughs> We're not using that purple. All right, let's see. Can I get the up? I can get the pink open. And I'm going to take the pink and I'm just going to put one little drop in the middle. And make sure that it's a little drop because it's going to spread out a little bit and that's not a very big surface. So you also could have put that on with, with your um, toothpicks. And then I wonder if the glitter will drop in circles or if it's going to... The glitter is so thick that I don't think I want to use that one. So let's do... Well, we've got this. Oh, maybe I won't be able to get this one open either. Let's do it in this golden color that we made the grass with. And then I'm just going to put a dot. Whoa, that was too much. So I'm just going to kind of bring this one around. If that had been red, it would look like a poppy. And then maybe, since I messed it up, I'll just kind of play with it. Just kind of pull that 
that pink out into it. Maybe give it a swirl. Now see on this side, we're seeing the pink dot because it had already started to dry. So on this side we see the pink dot and on this side we see some swirls. And I can try and maybe move that dot underneath a bit more. And then just play with it till you get it however you like it. and then just set it aside to dry. And once you get something here, once it dries, that's going to stay there. But if you don't like this side, you can always add more to the top of it and, um, you know, change the looks of it a bit. Just going to kind of Bring this out like a bit of a sunshine. Okay, so this is what we have on that one. And then we'll just sit that aside to let it dry. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let them dry and um, then I will be back and we'll glue them. I don't want to put the super glue on the on the nail polish until it's really pretty dry. And then you're just going to want to put a little bit of super glue, get them slapped together, and don't move them. So I will be back as soon as those are dry. Okay, I am back, and I'm hoping that you can see this. I did another tree the way that you should do it, or starting it anyways. So I put the leaves up here, and I actually put a gold and an orange together. And again, making sure that I left a little bit of gaps. And then I put the grass at the bottom. So now both of those are about the same. You know, I mean, you're not going to make them exactly the spots in the same place or anything. And you don't need to. Um, just the, the leaves at the top, the grass at the bottom. And then you put your tree on there. So that when you put it together, you don't have just plain old tree trunk on one side. Probably can't even see what I just showed you. Um and then the leaves and stuff on the other. That would be okay, but it wouldn't be as pretty as being able to see the leaves um, on both sides, you know, because trees have leaves all the way around. Now you only need to put the trunk on one side. So I'm just going to start at the grassy section and just go ahead and add my tree trunk. Again, wider at the bottom. Bring some branches out here. Remembering when you put the nail polish on your toothpick the first time, it's going to have more polish on it. So I usually kind of start at the trunk and then try and go out and make my branches that way my branches can be thinner and you can you know take more time with this to get it look the way that the way that you want it to look Ugh. Well, it didn't mess up too, too bad. It did a little bit, but that's all right. And normally I would not hold this like this. Normally I would have it sitting on my desk so that I wouldn't drop it. Alrighty, so I'm going to set that one down. 
and let that dry and then we'll put those together so and then to put them together you just use a drop of your liquid super glue and just put a drop right in the middle I guess I'll put two drops and then put your two pieces together put them together and give them a squish keeping your fingers away from the edges so that you don't glue your fingers on there give them a squish and hold them for a second and then set them aside to let them dry you want to try and get them lined up well and just squish them together so that you're not moving them all over because the super glue could make your nail polish soften up and move so you want to just kind of put them together give them a squish and then leave them set And so this is what it looks like with the grass and the trunk and our leaves at the top and I just think that they're pretty cute now I've got a couple of here that have already dried because I usually let them dry overnight um, before I put the wire on them because I because you're going to be putting pressure there and I don't really want to put that pressure on there until the glue is dry now one other thing um, I had forgot to find a match for the little sunny one that I did so I was trying to find a matching bead one that was about the same size and I dropped it on there and when I went to pick it up then it pulled the nail polish off so all I did was I just squished them together with the nail polish I'm not so sure how well that's going to hold but I did it um, alrighty, so now we want to make them so that we can hang them. We want them to have some kind of wire on them. And that's the cool part about it when you put them together is they've got a little bit of a groove in the middle. And so you can do it two ways. It depends on if you just want it to have a hanger at the top or if you want it to have a hanger at the top and the bottom. But just take about six inches of your wire and then just go ahead and find basically your center and then I'm going to use my round nose pliers and then just bring those together and hold it nice and tight and give it a twist And just one twist is all you need you don't want too too much hanging up around the top and you're going to wrap up there later too so well not with this one okay so and then I just kind of round my wires like this just so that they're easier to get around my beads they've already kind of got their shape so then what I do is I just put it in the groove Bring it down and around. And then just go ahead and just give it a twist. Now you want to make it kind of tight so it's not moving around, but you don't want to do it too tight and pull those apart because I suppose you probably could. And then once you get that wrapped around a little bit, this one will have a, um, a loop off the bottom then you're just going to bend one side out of the way take the other side make a loop around your pliers and then give that a wrap and you are going to want to make sure that you get that wrapped around there nice and tight And kind of keep your your loop straight okay now the one that I just wrapped I'm just going to take that one and cut it off as flush as I can and then use your pliers to just push that up tight against your wrap and then I'm going to take the other one and I'm going to wrap that one a few times and then I'm going 
going to just cut that one off just a little bit longer, probably about a half an inch or so. And then I'm going to just take my pliers, and a half an inch is way too much, maybe just like a quarter of an inch. I'm going to leave just a little bit of a tail on there so that I can kind of grab that tail and bend it down into the center of where I just wrapped it. And I'm really all fingers and thumbs today. But if you can wrap that so that it's pointing down into your loop or into your your swirl that you just just wrapped around there, um, then you it won't catch on something. So you just kind of give that a wrap, push it down in there, give it a pinch. And actually, I just wound up making kind of a second little loop, but my point is pointing down into there, so that's good. There we go. And now we have our tree. I don't know how well these are showing up because I can't see them well at all. But there's our tree, and this one is the one that has leaves on both sides. Well, both of these that I'm doing right now have leaves on both sides. I just forgot on the first one. With a loop at the top and the bottom, and I've messed that up, but you'll take your time and you'll do that better. And then if you don't want a loop at the top and the bottom, then you're just going to take a piece of wire and use your round nose pliers, make a loop, wrap it around, and then kind of just give that a bend so you've got a little bit of a place, an area between your loop and your bend so that you've got a place to wrap your wire when you come back around. And then again, I'm just going to kind of go like this just to kind of get the wire started. Don't forget to make sure that you put it at the top of your tree and then just wrap that around until you get back to the top. Oh, I'm having a hard time with this today. Okay, I'm going to hold on to my loop there, pull this around tight, and then just give that a twist. And then I've got extra, so I'm going to cut that off. I usually do work with extra wire, mostly just because it's easier to get a hold of when you're working it, and then you can always cut it off Yes, it might be a little bit of a waste, but it's really not it's really not that much of a waste. Um, you know, being that it saves you a lot of frustration of not having enough wire to hang on to. All right, now I'm going to hold on to this loop and I'm going to use my pliers to kind of pull this tight around there. And I just broke it apart. So see, you can't do it too tight. What happened to the other half? Oh, that's funny all of it stuck to this side so I can glue that back together and try it again later so don't make it too tight and also it wasn't just that I made it too tight I went in there and I actually like kind of like was pulling my pliers in between my two stones so that is how you do this project let's is that one dry that's dry let's glue this one together I'm not going to put the wire on it right this second because my hands aren't working that well to today. Just give that a little bit of a... better put the top back on that. And then just make sure when you put them together that you line them up right. Grass at the bottom, leaves at the top. And there we go. If you can see that, we've got our leaves up there, our tree trunk with our grass at the bottom, and there is our other side. So, and like I said, you can get much more intricate with it. You know, this one, I think that this one, they actually did the tree trunk and then they actually put a little flower on there, like this flower, for their tree top. So, um, so yeah, I just thought that these were really cute. I like them. 
and put this here so that cover up all that nail polish and we'll fix that one it'll be good as new I'm not a hundred percent positive yeah I did put super glue on there I was gonna say did I put super glue on there yes I did but here's our sunny one and here are the store-bought ones and then here is our see on this one you can really see the tree trunk on this side and then on this side you can see the leaves on top of the tree trunk and the grass in front of the tree trunk so that is our project for today for next week we are going to need some of our thin ribbon like like this or some quarter inch ribbon you no know, bigger than quarter inch this one is an eighth of an inch I believe we're going to need some of our beads that we um, separated when we bought some when we bought the junk jewelry and took that apart um, so that we would have some beads paper beads also will work and I think that that is all we're going to need for next week I'm going to try and um, keep things right now because I I record these a few weeks ahead of time, so I'm really not sure where we're at right now in the country with um, the epidemic, but you know, if people cannot get out, I'm going to try and do for a few weeks, try and do stuff that we have most everything at home or that you could maybe substitute something so that we're not having to go out and buy things. But thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I hope that you all have an outstanding day. Bye-bye.